Do you ever attempt to make a salad only to find the lettuce has gone bad already? Frustrating, I know. Well, today we are fixing that problem with this video because I'm going to tell you a simple tip to keep your salad greens fresh longer. Now, I love bringing salads to work because they're super easy to prep. And my salads are anything but boring. I mean, I am nuts about my buffalo chicken salads, BLT salads, loaded CNFA salads. I can go on and on, but I get pretty serious about my salad. However, something I am not crazy about is when the head of lettuce I just bought at the store goes bad before I even get to it. And if you're watching this, I know I'm not the only one. Now I'm gonna start out with a head of iceberg lettuce, but you can use green lettuce or romaine for today's method. Whether you're taking the iceberg apart into individual cups or you just wanna shred it into small lid pieces to make salads, the process is the same. Now one head of iceberg lettuce actually yields a lot, but no worries, I'm about to show you how to make sure all of this stays fresh for future meals. So what I'm gonna do, which I learned from my dad, is remove the core from here. And just like that, you can only do it one time. Did you get that? And with your hand, you just pull it out. So now that you've removed the core, you can slice it in half and remove the outer leaves or shred it. So I'm just gonna cut the lettuce in half. Now, I personally like prepping iceberg lettuce because I can use it for taco cups, or instead of a sandwich, I can just fill it with my favorite things. I'm going to use a salad spinner, but if you don't have a salad spinner, you can just get a big bowl and do the same thing. Now, if you're wondering if I separate every single leaf, the answer is no. They're all kind of in there because I like to use these as is for cups. Now, these loose leaves right here, I just stick them at the bottom. The idea is to get all of this soaked with water and vinegar. Next, I'm gonna pour about a cup of white vinegar into the bowl, followed by enough water to just fill the rest. I'm going to give this a quick mix and let the lettuce soak for just a few minutes. By the way, the lettuce is not going to taste like vinegar. It's going to help it stay fresh, crispy, which is exactly what we want for salads. Now, all you have to do is drain the water and rinse. Now, we're using a salad spinner. This is the fun part. Now, if you're wondering if your salad spinner actually did its job, let's see how much water it's got. It took some out. So now that the lettuce is clean and mostly dry, it's time for storage. Now, I use a large Tupperware container, which I just take two sheets of paper towels and put them at the bottom, because what you wanna do is absorb any excess water that did not get spun out, because moisture is the enemy of lettuce. Now, I use my salad spinner to wash off grapes or even berries. The little basket inside is actually the most convenient part. All right, so I just take all my lettuce pieces right here, put it on the top, and I take one more sheet of paper towel, place it right over the top. Super simple, right? Now, this is how I prep the lettuce for the week. I just put my big pieces of lettuce inside the Tupperware container, but you can also finely chop it. Wait up. Because if you, I already did that for you. If you don't have a large container or you just don't have a lot of fridge space, you can just put your lettuce inside of a zip bag with the paper towels and do the same thing. And this, my friend, is how I prep lettuce for the week. What do you think? What other foods do you struggle to prep? Leave a comment below and while you're down there, click that red subscribe button. A new video comes out every single week.